Look at that one. It was a dramatic crash caught on tape. A tumbling Asiana Airline Boeing 777 crashing at San Francisco's International Airport last July. Oh my God. But it would be this video emerging only now, months after the crash, that is becoming the most disturbing of all. Whoa, 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 stop, stop, stop. There's a body right there's a body right there, right, right in front of you. A body right in front of airport rescue truck number 10, this body. And according to the San Francisco medical examiner, it was in fact a living body, ignored by firefighters who failed to check. 16-year-old Ye Meng Yun had somehow escaped her seat in row 41 of the aircraft, apparently walked or was carried from this escape slide and came to rest here, lying in a fetal position, but alive. And as you can see in this emergency vehicle camera, firefighters walk around her, passed by her, even directed a fire truck past her, and not a single firefighter checking her pulse or even seeing if she was breathing. It's, it's, it's unthinkable, it's, it's, it's unimaginable, because the first thing that, uh, the first priority of the firefighters or any rescue personnel is saving lives. Um, and the first step in triage is to take the pulse check the respiration. That was never done. And, and the video, which I think is the best evidence of, of what happened, shows at least five firefighters who saw her, who understood she was there, and none of them uh, uh, did the basic step of, of checking if she was alive. Attorney Justin Green, who represents the Yee family, has filed a claim against the city of San Francisco based on reports from the fire department, the city, and the NTSB but mostly based on this video evidence. According to the claim, rescuers breached their duty of care to Yi Meng Young and were grossly negligent. The video is from a firefighting foam truck that pulled up to the scene within minutes of the crash. There doesn't appear to be any chaos or confusion, and at one point a firefighter leaves the vehicle to help guide the truck around Yi's body. This is a firefighter with his hand up. Right. This is her. That's right. He's saying there is a person a body there. A warning made all the more clear in a helmet camera on one of the firefighters. There's a body right there, right, right in front of you. According to the claim, firefighters notify a lieutenant, but are told to move on. In the video, that is just what truck number 10 does. As fuel leaks from the left wing, unit 10 sprays foam on the ground. Minutes later, as smoke begins to emerge from the fuselage, unit 10 circles to move into position apparently ignoring or forgetting the body on the ground. And at this moment, right here, the fire truck rolls over Yi Meng Yun's head and she is killed. Tire of the truck. Tire of the truck went right over her head. It would only get worse. The complaint alleges a firefighter arriving late to the scene jumped in another rescue vehicle, number 37, a rescue vehicle not equipped with any infrared device to identify living bodies and without any spotter maneuvered into the area where Yi Meng Young was located and again rolls over her body. That's right. Two, she's run over twice. She's run over twice by two different trucks. I can't imagine what the parents think. Well, the parents, I mean, part of what you have to understand too is in China, they're really only supposed to have one child. This is the family's only child, a girl who was a star student who was the focus of their lives. Um, everything that they did was poured into this girl and her future, and that was taken away because of some terrible mistakes and, and inaction by the firefighters. Yi Meng Young was coming to the U.S. for summer camp, described as an outstanding student, musician, and a class leader who dreamed of becoming a television newscaster. I particularly want to express our condolences and apologies to the family of Ye Man Wan, Last July, after it was determined rescue vehicles killed Yi, the San Francisco fire chief apologized profusely. The explanation then was of a chaotic rescue scene and foam covering Yi's body. The video now being released shows a much different picture, and the city of San Francisco and its fire department have now declined comment, citing pending litigation. The Yi family remains in China, waiting to find out what, if anything, can explain why their daughter is dead.
That's just horrible. Drew Griffin joins, joins us now. Um, two other uh, young people died, uh, Chinese students. They, they weren't run over, though. No, there was rumors that that did happen early on, but no. One of Yi's friends, 16 years old, was ejected. That's what killed her uh, during the play The other uh, student, another student from China, uh, had injuries during the crash and died a few days later in the hospital. Um, and, and in terms of the fire department, I mean, they're, they're saying... They're just apologetic. I mean, they just said this is... Well, they were apologetic when the report came out, uh, and this was early on that, that the truck ran over and killed Yi. Uh, they have not responded at all since this claim was filed. This claim is, you know, the precursor to a lawsuit. And it's not just about, them. they want more than money, right? Well, I mean, this is a claim. It's going to lead to either a monetary settlement or a lawsuit they're seeking. They are seeking money. But they also want to send out a warning, which sounds so basic. Check the body. Don't just look at a body at a rescue scene. Just don't look at a body at a crash scene. Check it. Hold it. Check the pulse. It seems so rudimentary, but it didn't happen here, Anderson. Mm.